Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. As you can see, I have some open bezels today. These were requested by one of uh, a comment that I read and I know they've been waiting and I went to look up their name and there is no name. It just said user, so you know who you are. So these are just for you. I'm gonna do three different techniques today and I'm not even gonna spoil it by telling you, I'm just going to do them. Today I'm gonna to be using my Let's Resin UV Resin though because it's quick, quicker than normal. I'm also going to be using this one I got from Timu, Diamond Dust Glitter UV Resin. This one is in black. We're gonna start off with the easiest one first and it's going to be the center one. So I'm going to use this black resin just to fill this in just the bottom portion. There's gonna be several layers on each one of these. Now, I guess I should have said, you're going to need this tape, any kind of tape that's super sticky. This one came with these open bezels. And then just make sure they are pressed down extremely hard. And what I did is I took my little tool and I just kind of went over them the best that I could. I'm just going to just make sure this is spread out evenly because I wanted a black background for this first one. So I'm just going to get this cured and I'm sticking. So fold the tape in on the sides right here so you can move it back and forth if you need to. So I will be back as soon as this is cured. I did it two minutes on the top side and then I flipped it over and I did one minute on the back side. Now the darker the color is, the harder it is to get it to cure. So this one is still a little soft, but it's cured enough to move on because we are going to be putting top coats on in clear and then a back coat on in clear. So this one, I have these little nail art abalone shells. So I'm just going to break these little pieces into smaller pieces. And just when you think you have them small enough, break them even smaller. So I'm just gonna get these broken up for you. I used my tweezers like this and I got them in the place where I wanted them. And like I said, these need to be really, really tiny because the bezels are not that big. So now that I have them placed, I'm going to be putting my clear UV resin on top of them. Let me just get this. And they may need to move a little bit. So we'll just get this on and see what happens. I'm gonna get it moved around gently. Now don't do too thick of a coat because we're gonna keep going over it until it's done. Actually, I got a pretty decent coat on here, so this might be the end. I, sh I was going to do three coats, but look, all of them stayed in place and I don't see any bubbles. I do have a long neck lighter that sometimes works for me and sometimes does not. I'm just going to go over it just in case I can't see the bubbles. Pop any bubbles like that. Let's just zoom in because you usually have a better view than I do. Okay, I am going to get this cured and move on. It went through for two minutes and it dried. Now it is flat, so I am going to put another top coat on because I'd like to see them domed if possible. They just look a little bit nicer if they have a nice dome on the top. So you're just gonna add one more coat, go up to the edge like you're top coating a coaster, and then cure it. Okay, I've taken it off of the back uh, tape so I could recure the back. So this is the front. Looks beautiful and gorgeous. Now I'm just going to flip it over 
And I'm going to dome the back the same way we did the front and get a nice clear coat on there. And now we'll run it under the UV light for another two minutes. And this one will be done and we'll move on to the next one. It is finished. I put it under for two minutes. There's the back, nice and domed in the front. It's so easy yet so elegant. Just remember the black is very hard to cure. And the tape, I, I had to replace the tape with the other bezels because the black wasn't fully cured. So it, it did cure easily off of the tape. So it was hard to penetrate that tape. And the tape came with them and it looks like this. It's on this little roll. So in case you're wondering what kind of tape, you can always buy that separately. So let's get the other ones in here. And the next one we're going to do is gonna be dried flowers. So I just wanna show you what I have ready. So I have all these little dried flowers cut and ready. And um, we're just going to arrange them inside here. However we want. Now remember with UV resin, there is no like clock to beat. It's not going to cure until you tell it to cure. So you don't have to rush. So I'm just going to get a layer of clear down in here. Pop some bubbles. And then I'm going to start arranging some of my flowers. So just get it all over the whole bezel. Now with this one, as you can see, the top of this is going the opposite way. So you have to put the bezel at the top of the tape because this side will make it leak if you have this side or this top piece on the um, tape. It wouldn't allow it to sit flat. So make sure that's not on the tape. I'm just gonna try to pop whatever I can. And then I'm gonna just start placing some flowers.
While we're waiting for that, I figured I would show you how I get my flowers from Amazon. So they come in these packages and a lot of them are almost gone because I do use them a lot, especially the blue. And then you can get greenery. I think all of these came in one package, um, purples, whites, and they come by color, which were really, really nice. And then I think I bought this separate somewhere else because it had some extra greens. I haven't even opened this one yet. I think this is from, this one's from Timu. So you can get them off of Timu as well. So that's how I get all my dried flowers. I'm just gonna run this through one more time and then we'll finish off the top. I'm gonna stick another coat of clear on. And I think I'm going to drip in a couple of, um, sparkles some glitter not really sprinkle it in I'm going to place them in there's the glitter I'm just going to grab some with my tweezers if I can want to put a tiny little bit of I'm not sure if this one will show up in there we'll see I'm just going to put one last coat on the top and then we'll get the bottom. Okay, the top was under for two minutes. It is beautifully domed. I don't see any bubbles. What do you think about that one, guys? We're just gonna hopefully peel it off nicely. And we're going to put a coat on the back and get it cured. Not a thick coat, just a thin coat, just to finish it off. This one is done. What do you think? There's the back domed nice and flat but it's still coming up a little bit and here is the front all right I've got one more technique to show you which I have never done before so I'm gonna learn with you 
but I have seen it done. I can't remember who I saw it, who saw it uh, do it, or I would give them the credit. So if you're watching, you did a great job on this one. I, well, I, I don't think it was inside this bezel, but the technique that I saw was really, really cool. So I have these two blue colors from Let's Resin Alcohol Inks. I'm just going to mix them in these small little cups. Let me just back up for you a little bit. I'm just going to mix a tiny bit in these cups and then we're going to do a layering technique I saw and I hope that it works. So let's get some of this mixed up. Just a tiny little bit in each one. test it on here make sure the coloring is right just keep this stuff out of the UV light until you're sure you're finished with it otherwise it's going to cure in your little cup it is uh, probably 10 o'clock at night here so I don't have to worry about the Sun coming in my windows right now otherwise I would shut my shades normally if I'm doing this during the day I shut the shades in this room Anytime I'm using UV light or UV resin, I should say. Because I have had it cure before in some cups and I wasn't too thrilled I had to remix it. Alright, so that's those. I also want to mix a tiny little bit of white. And I'm talking the barely is barely white possible. Oops. Actually, I think I'm going to use alcohol ink because that that ocean white from Let's Resin is just too pigmented. I don't want much. I want like milky, like skim milk. Even one drop of alcohol ink is that's definitely enough. And if it's too dark, just add a little bit of clear. And I won't be able to see it on there. So I'm just going to add just a squirt of clear because I don't want it too dark. And then we're also going to be using some clear resin on top of this white. You'll understand, unless you saw the video, um, you kind of got to watch it so you can see what I'm talking about. It was a super cool technique. So first, I'm just going to put these two colors. I'm going to put a little clear at the bottom. Let me zoom back in for you. All right, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of clear at the bottom and get it moved around because I want it to kind of blend with the blues. Pop any bubbles. And I'm just going to get this in somehow. I'm just gonna cover the bottom bottom half. I'm not going to do the whole thing. And I am just going to mix this in a little bit. I want it to kind of blend. If you need more, just mix up more. I got the perfect amount maybe I might need a little more dark blue just gonna get this up here okay, I'm just gonna mix a little more dark blue because I don't know if I have enough I'm trying not to block this I'm just going to fill the top with my darker blue. Again, I want it to blend and I think there's something on the bottom of that. Hopefully that's underneath. I don't. Oh yeah. Okay. Whew. So 
I want my green back up where it was. That's so not too bad. I think I'll try to scrape a little more green out and get it back over here. I grab my silicone stick and scrape it. There we go. This definitely has bubbles from all the stirring I did, so make sure you pop your bubbles. I need a new lighter. My lighter is about dead. I'm just gonna pull these up out of there. Which bubbles in sea life doesn't really bother me because it's sea life and there are bubbles. Okay, we're gonna cure this the way it is. I've done two cycles and it is cured. Now I'm gonna take the white that I mixed up with my stick here. Let me just wash my stick off. I don't want the blue getting in there. What I'm gonna do, and I might need a little more white actually, I'm just going to cover this whole thing in the white. Just a thin coat of a milky white. I'm just gonna get this spread all over it. And then I'm gonna pop some bubbles. do is I'm going to take my dotting tool with some clear and I'm just going to drop clear into the white and it makes these little bubbles that I thought were so cute to have that effect in here kind of like a little I don't know not sure it's coming through on the camera but it's just kind of opening up some spots that you could see the green and the blue through I just thought that was a really cool effect I'm gonna pop more bubbles That has gone through two cycles, and this is what it looks like up close. I don't know if you could see that, maybe with, yeah, with my hand behind it. You see how that effect is? Isn't that cool? I don't know. I think it's cool. So I took some clear UV resin, and I added a little bit of shimmer, which is this, uh, where is it, alcohol ink, and it is... I don't know anymore. I've worn it off. I will get you the link. Everything will be linked in the description if you're interested in anything that I'm using. It's always in the description of every video. So I'm just going to take this that I've mixed up and I'm going to use this as the top coat. Just to give it a little bit of shine.
and the top is finished. You can still see the color through it, but it's got the sparkle. I probably could have done with one less drop of that sparkle, but I always get overboard. I'm just gonna pull it off of the tape and put a quick back coat on here, and we will be done. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope I've inspired you to try something new and different. Thank you guys for coming in. I always, always appreciate every single one of you. I love your comments. Please continue. I love to talk to all of you. I read every single one. Thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who has ever bought us a coffee. We do appreciate that more than we can say. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I will get you some finishing pictures. And you guys all have a blessed day. All right, bye.